Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition, the redo. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had been trying to explore the galaxy. We made a new little friend of ours here, and we now have an enemy in the form of these guys here. Uh, the Polysimus Syndicate have decided they no longer like us. Don't know why I'm giving them a lot, but uh, they have decided that we must now be rivals, so thus it must be. So, considering all our business with them is more or less finished, lean into it. Let's make it a rivalry. <laughs> Put your money where your mouth is, beast. Oh, wait, that's right, you don't have any money. Eat an entire bag of dicks <laughs> it's too early in the episode for me to be swearing come on man come on all right let's do it let's do it why not you think you can beat the polysimi at our own game felons the polysimus syndicate runs this galaxy you've barely even started don't even talk like you're running this place you're not all right um there's also the little thing of the Galactic Hub nomination. I need to have a number of population better than 20. So, Felon Day might be the one we have to go with. Because that's really the only planet I have that has that many. So, with the money we have, and the influence we have, we'll put our planet up for that. Applies a place... Rather... <laughs> Let me try that again. Applies a base marketplace competitiveness rating modifier to the planet, according to its local conditions. The better the rating, the more likely the planet will play host to the future galactic market. If it's on our home planet, even fucking better, I think. So let's do it. I was kind of hoping to have it on a planet that's not our home planet, because then the home planet becomes a big-ass fucking target. But... I'm fine with that. Let's do it. Alright. And let's see what the modifier looks like. Competitiveness rating weak. Really? It's only considered weak, huh? Usable up to two times. I'm lacking the lacking the influence to do it again though. That's fine. We'll just continue on. And as is right now, we are just continuing our slow but sure expanse outwards. That's all we can do. Oh! Received a com communique. I don't fucking know how to pronounce that. Fucking. Now I need to fucking look it up. I feel like an idiot. Com communique, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's going to be the weirdest thing that I look up. Communique? Uh, an official announcement or statement. Hmm. Well, that explains that. Okay. Fair enough. Put my phone down a little loudly. The Sutherian Entity. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening on the communications of another empire we are in contact with. Okay. They are a hive mind. The Sutherian Entity. We, we are, are the Sutherian, Sutherian entity, entity, and we speak as, as one. one. The hive, the hive mind, mind has taken note, note of your, of your presence. presence. We will, will observe for now. now. Our future, future actions, actions will depend upon whether you are a threat, threat an opportunity for expansion, or an unforeseen variable. variable. Okay. Fellow star explorers, we salute you. That's all I can think of right now. Oh, that's why. They were between Polysimus, Earth, and all of that. That's why. Okay, that's why they weren't expanding in that direction. Special project complete. Ah, 
away the last specimen, I think. The Zokor Swarm. Zokor are swarming insect analogs, unusual both for their large size and the fact that they are lithophores, feeding off rocks and minerals in the ground. One of the shuttles belonging to the ISS Arbiter sustained, steri sustained serious damage. I can talk, really I can, I just need more caffeine in my veins. When it inadvertently passed through a large swarm and several Zulkors began to feed on its hull. Ugh. That's not good. The construction of the special containment facilities required to how house these creatures has already begun at the Museum of Exobiology on Felon Day. Excellent. That was the last one. Perfect. I had to take a sip of my drink. All of the specimens asked for by the Museum of Exobiology have been secured. The museum has grown to a massive facility, where artificial gravity generators and atmospheric processors are used to simulate the environments of over a dozen worlds. Visitors are journeying from across the Empire of Felinae to see its wonders. Nice. Hell yeah. We get influence, we get unity, we get energy credits, and we get society research. All good in my book, especially since I need the influence right now. Okay. Um, Taking evasive action. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, the ISS Brinkman is in trouble. Where are you specifically at? Oh. Oh, well, that's a small force. That ain't too bad. But that also means that I cannot traverse any further in that direction until I get all of those taken care of. Well... Fuck. Okay. Well, good thing the fleet's already headed in that direction. A Ute listening post. We have discovered several massive listening arrays on Sayama 1. These arrays are millions of years old, and we believe they were originally built by the Ute. Though it appears that at least one other alien civilization repurposed them at some point in the last 500,000 years for their own needs. The colossal receiving dishes are beyond repair. Some terminals are still intact. New sit rep. Intriguing. Let's look into it. And since my fleet is heading in that direction, it'll just deal with all of them in one go. That science ship won't be sitting there for long. Which is nice. It's on a little perk. But the what? Declare rivalry from the Sutherian entity. I've barely known you for like ten minutes, bruh. What? The Empire, the Empire of Felinae is an obstacle to the Sutherian advance. advance. You, you have, have been, been assigned, assigned as a possible adversary. Okay. Sure. Why not? You can't really get to me. You can't really do much of anything. But, uh, okay. If you say so. Where are they on the chart of... of power, anyway? They are equivalent, same as Polysimus. They really don't have anything else going for them. Why, is, why does the United Nations of Earth hate me? Rivals with allies. What? Come on. Quest to become subsidiary. Fuck no. I can't end the rivalry until later. Oh man, now the Earth <laughs> faction hates me. Come on. Come on. At least the Yeon Alliance likes me. Uh, fuck off. I don't, I don't need you. I don't need your shit. Inbound message traffic. Okay. United Nations of Earth has offered a trade deal. That can't be good. That can't be too bad. President. Wow, that's a mouthful. Um. Myadenz. Myadzindi. Mkvente. Oh, it's not, man. My mouth and my tongue are too white to pronounce that. I'm trying. 
<laughs> I'm trying so hard. Nyanzeni Mikwente. I think I got close. I think I got close. I don't think I'll get any closer than that. Offers this gift, given freely to the Empire Felime in the interest of continued friendship. Well, how could I turn that down? Yeah, I agree. Okay, good. Oh. Oh. Oh no! Arnav Kuti died at the age of 87. I don't know. He did so much good work for me. Oh no, I did not expect this this early. Oh <laughs> no, no. I was hoping he would be later. Oh no, okay. Um Let's move Ariana out of there. Put in Shivangi Sandharam. And then put Ariana there. Arnav Kuti. It's been an honor. But at least we're uh, still running with their uh, sibling. There's that. Alright. Um, form non aggression pack. Why not? I say, let's do it. Hey! working in our favor. Beautiful. We cannot see what either complete. of us would stand to win from a war. We agree to enter into a pact of non-aggression. Beautiful. That'll help us. Okay. And now you are need to do mining there. And then I'm sending you back to Chiswetov. Chiswetov. Kizwatov? I, I forgot how I was going to pronounce it. Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> I will do a different pronunciation every day if I have to. Ooh. Oh. Oh, son of a bitch. Who's in the Polisimus Syndicate, of course? God damn it. The center of galactic commerce has manifested in the Hensidon system within the borders of the Polisimus Syndicate. The Plissman administration has officially legitimized this marketplace where resources can be bought and sold through unaffiliated third parties. Okay. Great. It had to be the rival. Construction complete. Wahoo. All right, well, we tried. That's all I can say is that we tried. All right. Construction complete. Nice. That means you get to go back or, since I don't need the influence to continue building, I guess I can just move you towards the next system that I needed to get uh, up, 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 uh, up near that direction so I can continue my expanse up that way. I guess I can't really say north now, can I? Either way, um, we have, we're receiving a transmission from the independent space station of the Riggin Commerce Exchange. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Oh, birds. More birds. How about that? I speak on behalf of the Riggin Commerce Exchange. We have facilitated trade negotiations between interested parties on our station in the Unur system for more than a thousand of your years. If you happen to possess more resources than you need, we are more than willing to take it off your hands. You will be duly compensated, of course. Well met. Well met, indeed. We're going to move to this star outpost right here. And we're going to make that an outpost. 
Alrighty. It is what I did before, right? I'm making them do that. Yeah, I'm making them build the outpost. What are they doing? I forget. Oh, yeah, they're repairing the automated shipyard. That's right, I remember now. And they were going to finish up here. There we go. Wait a minute. I already explored Hojun? When did I do that? Um. Oh, I see. I forget that sometimes they have roving bands of uh, space amoebas. So that's probably what happened there. Okay, alright. Um, in that case, they will go over here. Survey them, and them, and then go around here to there. Yeah, sure, why not? That'll work. An odd factor. A group of investigators have found a hidden factory on Dawnlight. The building and its state of decay tells of an old civilization, one that excelled at constructing things that stood the test of time. Our population would easily be able to use this facility to add to the colony's production output. Intriguing. I don't see why not. Let's do it. If it'll work, System it'll work. System reconnaissance completed. Special project complete. Special project completed. The ISS laborer has successfully restored power to the automated shipyard over Ferrari 1A. The facility immediately resumed its interrupted construction order using what materials it had on hand to build an advanced frigate of an unknown design. Unfortunately, the ancient facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent a crew to the new ship and pressed it into service with our fleet. Excellent. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Yeah, I'll get to that. I don't want to look at the new ship. It's got a... Uh better hyperdrive than I currently have. Has a very advanced computer for combat. Why is it a picket computer? That's dumb. Especially considering the range that some of the weapons have. That's really dumb. Uh, gravitic sensors. Gravatic sensors. That's actually pretty good. Cold fusion reactor. Ion thrusters. That's not too bad. Too great, but not too bad. Yeah, well, uh, throw that into the fleet. I don't see why not. Let's merge them together. Cool. And what shall we do with this fleet? Can't really go much of anywhere else. Anyway, uh, let's. Whoop, I forgot about the research. Okay. Let's head back and repair. And then the research we just did was the geothermal fracking. Okay, that's what we did. So, Shivangi's first proper research shall be... Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We could have them look into plasteel materials... Or work towards exotic gas refining. Or rail guns. Or machine templates. Hmm. Robo modding. I like <laughs> I like the name of that. Robo modding. Um hmm. I mean I don't see why not. I mean, I'm not making the robots as of right now, but the ability to customize them before I get started making them would be kind of nice. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. It's not a terrible idea. I don't see why not. Oh, nice. 
Another tradition, and we can finish out the expansion tradition. Hells, yes. Beautiful. And the ascension perk of... Hmm. Let's go with Mastery of Nature. It unlocks the decision of Mastery of Nature, which permanently increases the maximum number of districts a planet can support by two. Plus, it lowers the cost of clearing blockers by 33%, which is always very nice. It can only be performed once on each planet, which we already have two. Although we mastered the nature of our homeworld long ago, the alien biomes we have since encountered present new challenges. They too shall be overcome. Hell yeah. I like it. Let's do it. And we shall... Even though we say that we've overcome our planet, I can still apply this decision to our home planet. So that's what we're going to do. Establish branch office. What the what? Only empires with the corporate authority. Oh. Why is that? There? Okay. Whatever. Anyway, I can build another thing. So, why not do that? Uh, what should I make, though? That's a good question. I already made a resource silo. Uh, I guess I can make more research labs. Absolutely. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Nice. Hey, that's nice to see. That's very nice to see. Um, what should we work on next then? Xenobiology. You know, uh, that would be kind of nice. Not necessary, but it would be kind of nice. Um, but it's not necessary this early on. Genetic health care. Pretty okay. But I kind of want to go with fleet support. Let's go with that. I prefer that idea. Okay. Yamazaki has leveled up. Good. Yes, I have put a governor for Dawnlight. Is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Construction was the governor complete. Of Dawnlight. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what are you doing? Okay. In that case, we will build the mining and research stations and then move you on to Riadore. I don't see why not. Yeah, that should be fine. Then we'll go to that. And there. That way I have a little bit more access to what all of my ships are doing and my fleet as well. Construction complete. Okay. Well, that was quick. Um, do the mining stuff. I really need to know what that is. I need to look into that. Whoops. Um, what is this one doing? Go in there. Oh, they're just assisting research. Well, let me double check really if anyone's doing anything over there. They're not. Well, then fuck it. You do that. Explore that for me. And then this, and then this. Then I'm good. And then you can go back to doing this, I guess. Yeah. Assisting Dawnlight. And they're going to assist in Straya, so that's fine. Oh no! Gaston Plissier! No! Oh no. I got so old at 82. <sighs> I 
Thank you for your service, Gaston. And just continue the surveying. Wait a minute. You're kidding. They... That was clear. That was clear like two minutes ago. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. System reconnaissance completed. Well, System reconnaissance completed. Uh, we'll have them just repair for Foreign now. Foreign powers are engaging back. in active hostilities. Oh. Polysimus has declared war on Sutherian entity. Interesting. Let's see how that turns out. At first glance, this planet does not seem capable of supporting living beings, but nevertheless, we have detected life signs emanating from somewhere beneath its frozen surface. Well, in that case, why not? You finished that, so let's put you here and do that. Sounds good to me. And where were you? You were over here. Okay. Uh, so we'll go back to the fleet. Um, we'll let them repair up and then head back here. Sounds good to me. <sighs> Ship should I rename? From beyond, uh, maybe. Uh, let's do that. I don't know if I can do those special letters. Unfortunately, I don't think I can. Uh, it's unfortunate. Hmm. I think that's how it's spelled. Let me double check. Okay, it was two L's and two S's. Okay. I see. I can't do much else with the name, so. Uh, it helps if I hit it while I'm actually in the menu. There we go. It's unfortunate that I can't do the special character required to make that name perfectly complete, but it is what it is. It was an honor. All right. All right. Anomaly is being investigated. Sutherian entity. Interesting. Oh, they're on the defensive in this war. All right. Well, enjoy having a rivalry, too. Okay. <sighs> Fuck it. Oh. <laughs> now we have mutual rivals. Okay, all right. That's good. That's helping me, anyway. <laughs> helping me in, to be in their good graces. Who'd have thunk that, huh? Even if I am, <laughs> even if I'm technically hated enough to be a rival with them, as long as I'm a mutual rival <laughs> of their enemy, then it's fine, I guess. Jesus, it's crazy. That is crazy to me. All right. Hey, if it works, if it works, it works. Alrighty. Ah, you know, that's gonna take too long. Let's make him do it now. Oh. The new mystic order is once again here. Follow the current of cosmic energy credits, felons, and it will take you to the truth. 
there is no better project than what that which carries the holy seal of Numa. What else do you got? Oh! Adds Numa's breath to Dawnlight, which lets us do a max generator districts of plus three and two extra max districts on top of that. Wow. Forgive us our intrusiveness, but we have noticed your planet, Dawnlight, possesses a unique potential not currently being realized. A vent can be opened to its sacred core, from whence the flow of wealth can trickle forth. Let us reveal to you the hidden secrets of your land. We will require a nominal remuneration, of course. As always, if you need time to consider, we can notify you before we depart your territory, giving you one more chance to accept the goddess's generous offer. That's actually pretty new, and that would actually be pretty beneficial. And I have minerals up the ass. <laughs> so why not? Let's do it. Alright. Blessings upon you, felons, for your business brings us closer to the goddess. Alrighty. Well, then. Ooh. Ocean beneath the ice. Deep scans of Pulkor 5 have revealed a large ocean heated by hydrothermal vents beneath the ice mantle covering the surface. Science officer Pranav Kuti dispatched probes from the From Beyond that drilled through several miles of thick ice and found the water below teeming with what appears to be life. We will need more resources to conduct a thorough study of the many unique life forms inhabiting this ocean. New sit rep. Sounds like a plan to me. Ah! Precursor to discovery. Whoa. Okay. Intercepted communications from a group of independent prospectors indicate that they recently found something relating to an ancient precursor civilization, an Arbitraeus I. Wow. That's lucky. <laughs> Superstition compelled them to leave the planet alone, so whatever they discovered must still be there. Sounds like a plan to me. Who's not doing anything? Alicia. Okay. Um, Arbitraeus. Arbitraeus. Hey! There we go. Arbitraeus. No, that's not it. I am stupid. That is what I have learned. Uh, Arbitraeus. 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 Where is that? I know, I know, I know. I didn't want all of them. He's us. Arbitrary system. Please tell me it's not any of my enemies. Okay, it's within my reach. Oh, that's where it is. It's right there. Okay, cool. Um. Oh. Well, that would make it easy. But, um, we're going to do that instead. And then have them come back to assist research. Um, fell in it. There we go. Booyah. Huh. No reports of any problems have been issued from the odd factory on Dawnlight. It seems like the colony will maintain the projected production estimates. Good. Good to know. Wasn't aware that there might be a system problem. System reconnaissance completed. Pull core system is now fully surveyed. Good. Where is that anyway? Construction complete. The Sutherian entity is no longer a valid rival for our empire. Why is that? What? Why is that? Why is it no longer a valid rival? Um, I'm confused. Huh. Wait, what? What is going on? What? What? 
kind of just been nuts. We, are no, we no longer have any interest in maintaining this non-aggression pact. We have limited our diplomatic options for far too long. What? What the fuck just happened? What? Kind of just been nuts. What? I don't understand. I don't understand. What happened? What the fuck happened? Okay. What? Okay, um, I would dearly like to visit Felon Day one someday. Well, I mean, you're acting like you don't. Um, let's guarantee independence. Maybe that'll keep them happy. I, I, no, no, I don't want to do that. I don't know what suddenly made the Sutharian entity love me so much. But I am so confused. They started out hating me, but now all of a sudden they like me? What? And now because we have mutual rivals, they love me more? What? I don't... I don't understand. I can't even end the rivalry with them. Oh, come on. So dumb. What the fuck happened? Alright, well, anyway. Since they're done there, uh, I guess either. I'd rather wait until I know what's there first. So I guess go back to the near starport for now oh i think we've already talked to you about this thing and i've already got it so yeah not interested since i already got it so there's no point in not all right so i'm assuming that modifier is already applied yeah Numa's breath um, now it's at 21 hmm. planetary features yeah stable vent reaching into the planet's crust was created by the Numistic Order. Yeah, that's... Okay. Alright. Wait for the mining site. Oh yeah, that's what it does. Okay, cool. I guess... Um, we'll do... System reconnaissance this, completed. This, this, and this. Special project complete. Huh. The Ransom Ears. The boy has been identified or verified as one of Felinian make, and the signal it's relaying has been stabilized. Felinian authorities, identify yourselves. H hello? This is the captain of the Luxian, a Felinian civilian transport. Uh, former captain. The Luxian is gone. We were boarded by pirates and taken captive before they blew up the ship. Who captured you? They... I think they call themselves the Ransomers? The Ransomers? At any rate, they're a vile bunch. We'd, we'd all be dead already if they didn't think we could get they could get something from us, from the Empire of Felinae. I overheard them discussing their demands. Okay. Uh, we will rescue you then. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Emperor. We're being held in some space station, but I have no idea where we are beyond that. I will increase the transmission burst now, should let you triangulate the location of this prison from the emergency buoy. Position recorded in the situation log. New sit rep. All right. Good. Now I can move forward on that. 
I just need my uh, fleet, which is currently indisposed with that. Uh, where would they be for the thing I need to do? I have no idea. Literally none. Joy. Um, ransom mirrors. The base is there. Oops, it's. Let me look at where that base is. Um, abandoned alien mining station. No, it's not in Pentarum. The fuck? Why is Pentarum? Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't want that. Okay. Well, hopefully. Oh, I see. Might be over here then. Okay. Well, guess that's uh, a place we're going to have to go to fix that mess, I guess. Um, gonna take one of those off for now. Okay. And I guess I'll work on reinforcing that later. Okay. Caravaneers, old with defects. Our starbase in this... Hmm. Starbase in this... Kizuatov system. Fucking, I had to think about how to pronounce it again. Uh, reports that the Winds of Fortune fleet has evacuated and abandoned a decrepit ship, now in unstable orbit around the system's central star. Uh, one man's trash. New sit rep. Oh, and I have a timer on it. Okay. Well, it's a long timer, so there's that. Uh, why must you keep doing that? I don't want that. And it's... There. Okay. I'm gonna go to that one here and it wanted to return here anyway so I guess it'll work on doing that and then I'll make it system reconnaissance see. completed I'll see to it then that it'll uh, go to the starbase after that so worked out in my favor the timing alright I figured speaking of timing I would look at my clock I got time. I got a little bit of time. All right. What is right here? The winds of fortune. Okay. That's what. Construction the complete. The winds of fortune was a. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. And that construction ship is done there. Make you do that. And... I guess we'll just keep moving you forward this way. Unless I go this way. Anomaly found. Our science officer has found an anomaly. It will require extensive probing, but could garner a substantial find. On Parsec 6. Alright. Go ahead and do that. And then we'll move this way. Might as well go down this way so we have it fully explored. That way I can make a star base here and then pick those up as a trade hub stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. It made more sense in my head before I said it with my mouth. Anywho, moving on. Construction complete. The Racket Industrial Enterprise. It is not a relic. It is an antique. Just think. It survived this many centuries already. Built to last. What can you offer us? We have a ship. A destroyer. Very good. Fast. Strong. Well equipped. 
Certainly not getting rid of it but for a reason. Oh no. No time to let your mechanics examine it. Kss, kss. You want the ship, do you or not? Give us 200 minerals and the ship is yours. Um... What have we got to lose? It's 200 minerals. I get f fuck tons. Certainly, we accept your deal. A pleasure. A joy to deal with the Empire of Fenine. We will visit again. Okay. Super clanker, huh? What am I looking at here? Yojimbo armed escort. What am I looking at here? A super clanker that definitely does not look clanker-y in any regard. Um, only has one large armament of a plasma shooter. Hmm. And it does have regenerative hull tissue as well. It's very strong. Very high up the food chain. Why is it a super clanker? I am... I'm confused. But I'll take it. And we'll merge it into the main fleet. But that means I gotta take another one off there. That way it stays within 40. I... <laughs> Why is it called a super clanker? I don't get it. I don't get it at all, but it's fine. How's our planets looking? Um, hmm. I have as many of those as I can manage. Uh, hmm. Explosions in the sky. Planet Parsac 6 is the home of a marvel of nature. Giant, colorful explosions appear in the sky, a result of the chemical composition of the atmosphere reacting to the sun's gamma rays. Students and senior scientists alike are spreading this find like a wildfire. It has generated quite the spark of interest for the scientific field amongst our people. Amazing. Hell yeah. Good to know. I'm going to build another city district, another mine, and another agricultural district. And that should be good for the planet as of right now. I think that should be fine. That might be all I need. And in regards to everything else, uh, Dawn Light's in the middle of its construction. Um, there's not much else I really need to do with these guys. And the fleet is moving to hopefully eventually deal with that fucking running in and out little shit in this area. But for right now, we'll just be waiting. But it's time to end this episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to continue being a superpower. And gaining friends among the galaxy's uh, elite. But uh, so far, Earth has rejected our advances. Polysimus has super rejected our advances and the Sutherian entity is a little hard to determine where the fuck they sit because one moment they don't like me then they do like me but then that also fucks with our relationship with earth it's gonna get really confusing real damn fast but uh we'll sort that out for you